The Warant Officers Academy of the Nigerian Army on Friday graduated a total number of 60 officers and senior non-commissioned officers at the Armed Forces Command and Staff College, Jaji. Represented at the occasion, the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Farouk Yaya, says the Warrant Officers Academy, since its inception in 1994, has been a center for the rejuvenation of senior non-commissioned officers, cadre of the Nigerian Army. In order to maintain the needed cohesion of the Nigerian Army, the Warrant Officers and no senior non-commissioned officers Kada must be brought to such a level that they are able to strengthen the linkage between the officers and soldiers. I'm glad to note that the Academy has so far been able to achieve this through focus training that has prepared its graduates to confront challenges in line with my vision, which is to have, I quote, the professional Nigerian Army ready to accomplish assigned missions within the joint environment in defense of Nigeria. I wish to congratulate the graduates for their commitment and diligence in completing the theoretical and practical aspect of the intensive course. I believe the professional skills you have acquired during the course will enable you to be well equipped in bridging the knowledge and leadership gaps between the officers and soldiers. Let me commend you, graduates, for the untiring efforts you have put in to ensure that you are qualified to graduate today. You are now adequately equipped to cope with the challenges that you are bound to face when you go back to your units where you will be required to apply the knowledge and skills you have been taught here. The armed forces furthermore called on the general public to support the military with valid information in order to achieve successful operations against insurgency. Asymmetric warfare is a difficult warfare because you are dealing with non-state actors, those you cannot identify. They blend within the public. And our request is we cannot do it alone without the public. So that's why we need the public support. The insurgents are residing within the populace. So the communities need to be able to give us information for us to operate. And we can see that the military is doing well. Um, all the operations are doing extremely very well. The service chiefs are giving us all the required support from the federal government, from the state and the local governments. All we need is the communities to continue to pro provide the uh, much needed information that we need and that will assist us in ensuring that we put this to an end.